Well, you turn around and find out, oh, guess what? You don't get it. You, you stood in line for four hours and you don't get it. Well, why is that? Well, they made it limited edition. Well, it seems someone was able to possibly bypass the queue or it was artificial scarcity. This is the type of thing that we've been dealing with or I have been talking about for many years. You know, I've privated a lot of those videos. It's something that I spoke about for a very long time on this channel for Magic the Gathering and Wizards of the Coast and Hasbro just diving in and reaching into your pockets and saying, listen, you're going to buy this thing. We don't care how many people are out there or how many we put up. You're going to buy this thing and it's going to go to the moon. Is that really what you want? And now I, I'm returning to it just because I saw something that reminded me of the days of the Mythic Edition scenario that happened with the eBay orders that were that went and it went belly up. They had things go completely awry with those as well. To the point that they, they almost got sued over the, the sales because they used eBay as the third party seller and then the sales numbers got skewed, people got told they were in their cart, then they got removed. Same sort of scenario of what we just saw with the new Marvel Secret Lair. Secret Lairs in Magic the Gathering have been, you know, they, they've been one of those methods for people to buy cards uh, for something a little bit more unique. I remember back growing up, first playing the game, I actually turned around and I made a few of my own cards. Me and my friends, we made our own cards. We turned around and took like the gargoyles from Disney and I took Link and Zelda and put them on cards. I remember doing this. I, I used to have them. I don't know what happened to them. I think they ended up in the se selling of a lot of the cards I sold back then. That was something I turned around and yeah, d does selling my cards back then, do I regret it? Not really. They, they were sitting in a closet, much like the collection I have now. They're sitting in a closet and it's something that I would like to get rid of, but it also means going through them and trying to piece them out because I have more than I had back then. Where are we with Secret Lairs? Where are we with Universes Beyond? Where are we with Magic the Gathering right now? Honestly, it seems like it's pumping out more product than ever, and now we have a scenario where people are starting to miss out on stuff. That fear of missing out is real, and it's really unfortunate that it's got the predatory nature of it. Now, you can turn around and take a basic land and scribble on it and say this is what the card is because now these other cards aren't going to be around but where do you go from there is that the game that has been laid out in front of everyone that wants to continue playing magic the gathering is that what we want overall in this in this world is a scenario where you have to sit there and be the first in line for a card game that could easily be printed at home this is what we've seen with Hasbro and Wizards of the Coast for a while now, where they make these decisions where they're trying to say, hey, listen, listen, it's a game that everyone can play, but it's only as how deep your wallets can go. That's the problem. Anybody can pick up the game and play it. You know, I, I, I used to carry around some of the starter decks from back in the day just to teach people how to play the game because it's an, in the game, the fundamentals of the game has always been pretty good in that sense. Yeah, there's other games out there you can learn to play, but Magic the Gathering is has a very special place for a lot of people. It, it, it's not necessarily where you want to sit there and pick up the game and actually play it. People have their cards. They want to play Commander, but, you know, even that has been ruined. Look at Jeweled Lotus, the, that debacle, you know. It's once again, we're in another year where it's a debacle and, and a scandal and something else for Magic the Gathering. You know, it, I sit here and I go, I'm glad I gave it up a few years ago now when, when I decided to take Magic the Gathering Arena off my computer. And I said, forget it. I'm not playing this predatory game because they're changing the, they're changing the system. They changed the rules when they got into the wild cards and the points and all those other things that they did for Arena in a, in a game that's already rigged against your favor. Why am I going to continue playing a game that I don't find fun and, and, and enticing anymore? Why am I going to pick up a game that I just don't enjoy a lot of the art? You, you know, it's cool to see Marvel characters. It is very cool to see them. But that's not Magic the Gathering. That's Marvel. If I want to see Marvel characters, I'll go watch Endgame. I'll go watch them, uh, the Avengers. 
Like that that's where I I'll, I'll go do that. If I want to play a Magic I'm uh, sorry, a Marvel game, I'm going to pick up Legendary. That's a card game, a living card game. And if you haven't ever played Legendary, it's way better to play with a few friends. It's a game you can play by yourself. And I thoroughly enjoy it. And it has very, very similar art to what we see on the Magic the Gathering cards that are coming out. You know, yeah, it's neat. Yeah, okay, you're, you're going to go to a local game store. You're going to meet up with your friends. You're going to pull out your Marvel deck. It's no longer Magic the Gathering at this point. You've got your Avenger sleeves on them. The backing of Magic the Gathering doesn't even matter anymore because half your cards are double-sided now. So what's the point? Magic the Gathering has completely lost its identity and they're just it's just trying to take the good faith of the game and say, listen, give us all your money and you get this in return. And then five years down the road, when you sit there and you go, well, I'm done with this game, what do I do with it? You, 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 and then you find out most of your cards are absolutely worthless. I, you know, I have a shelving unit full of Magic the Gathering cards. I have no clue what to do with it. Yeah, I can walk into a store where they give me five bucks for a thousand cards. Uh, is that where I really want to go? Is that something I want to do? Or would I just not waste the fuel and throw it on, on a campfire at this point? You know, you'd throw it into the fire and, and, you know, the fireside chat in itself. Magic the Gathering, you know, I had a love for that game. I really did. And uh, I, I still wish it can continue to thrive in that sense. But I just see a game that's completely lost its identity. I, I don't see a game that was once a fantasy realm with medieval ties to it. I see a game that's now, you know, Thor's hammer and Captain America's shield and, and Cloud Strife's sword. Or Kefka being put onto uh, the new Final Fantasy set. I saw that and I just about lost my mind because there isn't very much art in general for Final Fantasy VI, one of my all-time favorite games. When they, when they did the War of the Spark uh, Liliana, it, it was one of those things I sat there and I went, oh my god, I want this card so bad. And, you know, thanks to a viewer, I, I do own a copy of it and I, I treasure that today. It's sitting on my shelf. But it's not something that I want to play with. It's not necessarily the card I want to play with. It's a showpiece. It's what I want to put on my wall. It's what I want, want to show off that it's there. And that's where I see Magic the Gathering. Do you want to show off Thor or the Hulk? Well, you can do that in many other ways. It's not necessarily on the back of a card game. Yeah, once again, it's very cool. They did Transformers. Uh, I, did they do G.I. Joe yet? They've done My Little Pony. They've, they've done The Walking Dead. They, they've done Godzilla. They're doing Marvel. They're doing Final Fantasy. That's not Magic the Gathering. That's, that's Fortnite at this point. They, they've taken the amalgamation of all these IPs and put it into this game and said yeah anybody will play this it doesn't matter what the art is on the card you know we, we get a few extra sales in it because there's a new fan base that it's now being introduced to Magic the Gathering do they really stick around or or does it just go down the wayside and say listen thanks for thanks for giving us your money now be on with you and we will see you again sometime soon maybe until the next uh until the next IP is uh, put together. I, I, I honestly don't know what you really want from this game anymore. I gave it up a while ago. I'm glad I gave it up a while ago because it's not something that I could sit there and do anymore. Yeah, Bloomborough looked looked like a very, very unique set. It was probably the most unique set they've had in a, uh, in a while for Magic the Gathering. Uh, it, it, they they re-envision everyone as as a furry creature. So that that's something that was... Uh, there, there was a little bit of a draw there to, to a subsect of a lot of people out there, to a fandom that's a very unique in that sense. But that was probably the most unique thing that I've seen out of Magic the Gathering in a while. Foundations coming out. I'm already, I'm, I'm already disinterested because it looks like another core set at this point where they're trying to reinvigorate and reimagine their core sets once again. Does that really bring something forward? You know... I, I saw, I think they're going back to Tarkir. That that maybe is something. That maybe is something. But are they going to bring in your fetch lands back? Are they going to bring the fetch lands that need a reprint like every every five years at this point? 
or are they just going to bulk the price up even more and say it's a master set and suddenly suddenly now you're no longer paying five dollars you're paying ten dollars a pack because oh surprise there's fetch lands in it because there's this one key card that every modern deck needs in it the game isn't what it used to be at all i remember the game at a time where i was able to sit there and build with just the cards i had in my collection and go to a store and sit there with my friends and have a fun time now if you want to go to a store you have to have a meta deck you have to have something that's costs you a hundred dollars easily just for the entry point and what does it get you oh maybe it gets you a few extra packs at the end of the day honestly i'd rather just sit at home and sit in here with the with a few people and talking and doing whatever i don't know that's my thoughts on the new Magic the Gathering stuff. It, it, it's really a shame to see that people got screwed over once again for a game that has been out there for so long. And uh, where does that really go? What does that really leave us? Hopefully one day Wizards of the Coast can smarten up and actually start to uh, care for the people instead of for the shareholders that they, they like to uh, rally and say they're trying to impress. It's not doing anyone any good. Play the game you want, pick up the cards you want, do whatever you want with that. So hopefully you can have some fun and remember the good times with good friends. Maybe have a few drinks or something like that. Just don't worry about so much of the card game. And you know what? When it comes down to it, if you missed out on the cards, proxy them. Make them, print them off, put them on lands or something, and then go from there. Because it's a lot, it's a lot cheaper, and then at least you have the cards you want to play with. But at the same time, just take any old art. Take the art you like and put it on the card because they've already proven that it doesn't matter the art that's on the card. People are going to play the cards that are most powerful. They're going to create power creep and, you know, they're, they're going to force it that way. Anyway, I am your proud Canadian Phoenix in a shadow. I'm signing off here. Have yourselves a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, I will see you again very soon.